Alright guys, welcome to another video here. In this video here, I want to build some type of progress bar that can either track progress towards maybe collecting coins here, or maybe for time, or maybe even health going backwards here. But basically, I want to do some type of general interface that will track a certain integer in your game here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my scene here, I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to make a UI. Then I'm going to go to... Uh, where'd it go? Let's make a canvas first off, I'm sorry. Cool, canvas is good to go. I'm going to right click on UI here. And I'm going to make a slider. There we go, right there. And on my slider, I'm going to make this nice and big here. This way I can see it. Now, in terms of design here, you could really make this however you want here. So the slider has like a handle right here, and you could use this for controlling volume within the game here. Like I said, you could use it for like a health bar, so it goes down as a player's health gets lower and lower. What I'm going to do just for my design choices right now is I'm going to get rid of the handle from here, this little knob. So the handle slider area, I'm going to get rid of that. The fill area is going to be red. So I want this area to be red here, and then this area is going to stay with that gray right now, okay? For the fill area, I'm going to go here, I'm going to drop down here on the fill, and I'm going to change this to be red. Alright? And you'll notice what I did there is I bumped up a little bit there, this way I can just kind of see it. Now I'm going to use whole numbers only here, this way it makes it a little bit easier here. And I'm going to just set this equal to like, I'm going to drag it up here. Oops, I'm sorry. So we have a min and a maximum value from here. I'm going to go to 100 for the maximum, and the minimum will be 0. So I'm going to move this up here so we can see it. Now, one of the things I want you guys to see here is that if we turn this up all the way here, we have a little bit of space here that's not covering up yet. And that's because we got rid of the handle. If the handle was here, it would probably cover that up there. So I'm going to go back to the fill area. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. This way it covers that up there. And for right now, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think that looks pretty good to me. Cool. Now I'm going to make sure I didn't move it over. I'm going to make sure I actually did uh, stretch it out per se. Cool, looking good. Let's go back to the slider. Slider, bring it back to like 50. And that's looking pretty good from there. Now I have this script here, and the script is on, actually I should drag, on, drag it onto the canvas right now. Oops, come on now. Drag it onto the canvas, looking good there. And I'm going to open this script up from here, okay? Now you see it's completely blank right now. I don't have anything in here. What I'm going to do first off here is I'm going to say using Unity Engine dot UI here. So we're going to be using the UI namespace because we're working with sliders from here. And we're also going to set up a, an update method here. Update. Cool. Now above the update here, I'm going to set up a public slider with a capital S here because it's of type slider. And I'm going to call this progress bar. Semicolon. Okay. Now on, I'm going to say, basically I'm going to make it where if I hit the space bar, it's going to increment a score. It's going to move the slider up. Okay. I'm going to say if input dot get key down. I'm going to pass in space with a lowercase s in there, and I'm going to say uh, debug.log, just to make sure this is working at first here, debug.log, and let's just say space, cool, and then we'll hit save here, let's go back to Unity, and let's see if this is working right now. Now since we already declared a public variable of type slider, I'm going to go ahead and drag this in. So we have the canvas here, we have the script living on the canvas game object here, but it's looking for a progress bar, a slider, okay? So I'm going to drag slider on there. Cool, and by the way, if my voice sounds a little funky, I am a little bit under the weather today, so my brain's a little foggy too. But anyways, from here, let's go ahead and save this here, and let's see if the space bar is working right now. Let's go to console here, and we don't have anything being printed out right now. Okay, hold on one second here. Guys, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm a little under the weather right now. I forgot to put a semicolon right there. I'm going to go ahead and save. Let's go back to the game here. And let's go ahead and hit play. And now back here. And now we have space being printed to the console here, okay? Cool. So we're halfway there. So now let's go back to our script from here. Let's get rid of this because we don't need that anymore here. What I'm going to do up the top here is I'm going to declare a, a public int and let's call this score. And let's initialize this at, at zero. And I'm going to say if score score curses in the way there score is less than or equal to 100 then i want you to score plus plus and then what i also want you to do i guess we could put it right here we're going to say progress bar dot value and we're going to say equal to score so as this increases here we're going to get the value and we're going to increase we're going to set that equal to whatever the score is from there okay so let's save this here let's go to unity now what i want to do is also make sure i reset the progress bar all the way back down to zero from here and this way it all works properly here cool save and let's go ahead and hit play and let's see if this is working now so i hit space bar, you can see it increasing here 
And if we go all the way up to 100, tap, 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 try to go kind of fast here. Almost there. We can see that we fill up that progress bar, okay? So if you guys learned something here, be sure to give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you guys really enjoyed here, I have a bunch of Udemy courses. Feel free to check them out here. I would definitely appreciate it. And uh, like I said, you can use this for a lot of different things here. You could have a countdown where a player's uh, health goes down. You know, you can have it go up as they collect amount of coins in the level. You can have, have it go up as they get more experience in the game here, okay? But whatever you see it for, hopefully it helps you guys out. And I hope you guys have a great day.